So the next thing we want to do is get the wings out and um, there's a membrane that connects uh, the wing to the gills so just use your flatting knife and cut through this membrane cut all the way through and um, follow the cut upwards as well And there's actually a joint here. I use a pair of side cutters to cut through that joint. In a smaller fish, you can just rip the wings off, but larger fish like snapper, you actually need to cut through some of the bony bits. The next thing you do is you cut through the diaphragm. This is the diaphragm. I'm not sure if it's actually called the diaphragm in the fish, but it's called the diaphragm in the mammals. So I'll just call it the diaphragm too. Cut through the diaphragm. And just see whether you can pull this away. Sometimes a bit more cutting is in order. Before that is achievable. Yes, okay, it's starting to happen now. So the, the rib is coming away. I'm just gonna cut the diaphragm a little bit more. Okay, the next thing we do is we turn the fish around and we do exactly the same thing. Separate the membrane that connects the gill the gills to the wing follow the incision upwards cut through this joint with side cutters Sometimes there's ribs here as well, so sometimes you may have to cut away more ribs. Okay, now I'm gonna cut the diaphragm away from the wing. I'm just gonna see whether I can pull it off. Needs a bit more cutting here. Okay, so now it's starting to happen. That's the way the wings should pull out this way. And if you just continue pulling, you get to this point, and um, side cutters come in handy again. Or you could just use a heavy kitchen knife for that purpose. Okay, so there you have the wings. And what I do with wings is I like to split them right in down in the middle as well. Like so. And all the way down. And this is actually a very good piece uh, of fish. Um, you can do whatever you like to it. Uh, you can barbecue it. You can smoke it, you can make it into a curry, you can fry it. Okay, there you go. So two wings. And just remove any bits of um, black clots that might still be hanging around like this.
and then put it away. Black clots. And then put it away. Okay, the last, we're not quite done yet because the frame is, uh, you can still utilize the frame. So to utilize the frame, I need to get rid of the guts and the gills. So the gill is attached right at the top there. If you run a heavy kitchen knife, between the gill and the head you will be able to cut it through like so let's continue cutting that way and the gill also has an attachment to the front sort of to the tongue area again just use heavy kitchen knives and run it down And uh, the last attachment is right here. Just use kitchen knives to do that. And uh, there's your, the frame. Now we can separate. I'll show you how we separate it. Look for that bone there. Run your knife through. See, it goes that way. And then just fold the head to one side, push down. And do the same for the other side. Push down. And then just use knives or uh, side cutters. any remaining bone okay so there you have your head and um, we can make a nice fish head curry with this there's actually a lot of flesh here still a little bit here and very gelatinous uh, portions of flesh all over the head as for the frame, you can use this to make a fish soup or fish stock. You could also scrape the meat away, the remaining meat away, a minimal um, waste we're talking about here. We don't want these blood clots. Use a spoon to scrape it away and then um, mince it up and add flour. Um, salt pepper and roll it into bowls and that's how they make fish bowls um, you could also throw this on the barbie and just pick off the, the bits of meat um, in fact a lot of times we uh, actually just steam this and uh, I'll pick the meat off and we make a uh, fish porridge with the the meat that's, that comes from the frame or we just give it to the pets for a treat so I hope that shows um, clearly how you can um, make full use of your snapper.